Henry, silly bugger, knew that it was a bad day in California hills, swatting in fly-invested squares by and by. Fly and fly, Ryanair, no more, comforting deliberate galaxies. Whichever was the monk's aunt, dirty bitches, they foretold the prophecy of the rusty, trusty, unsinkable koala vibe sold in Thailand to racers. Four items three, the quaint trees whispered in Franny's front garden behind Bugle. Oh dear, bubbling liquid spewing inwards created mad madness, incorporating more spray can art from Banksy's buttocks and hockey's sour brush. Historically, it is geographically impossible to say, wor to say words like Francois, Mingle, and benches of character when eating jelly in Greenland. However, benches frequent highly historically and geographical monographical sketches while sat in lava lamps. Francois leaned forward and accidentally, on purpose, kissed his neighbor's beagle. This was a true, hard metaphor for his own trumpet-blowing escapades, harking back from various difficult trips to church benches. Take out my toenails, because they were painted by God's own devil worshippers, those heathen scum pillows. There is still an underground society of tame toenail sniffers, beagle lovers, and other upper-class pursuits. Smelly cheese, not cheese. <laughs> <laughs> and fudge <laughs> go well with berries and ice cream and salty mackerel, having cold turkey sandwiches with pickles and toenails, freshly plucked from Argentinian cheese counters of particular not notoriety. An empty stage, populated by nothingness and forgotten dreams. White blank pages of freshly written fables. In pub, avant-garde pianos playing meatloaf covers too crying into their pockets, wishing they had dreamed less, wet dreams. Empowered by their vanity, engulfed in bats straight out of a wank. <laughs> Dirty socks, stiffened by ancient wanks, hidden <laughs> under, under wanks galore weekly, weekly and meekly, smelly and treacly fluid, covered my sponges and galoshes. Grilled banana and jelly sandwiches fell from the stars on benches in Henry's amphitheatre and squished squashingly, squelching besides the splurge. What do bananas do? What do bananas represent? Why bananas? Bananas! Bananas no! Yeah. People and such like like to think cabbages grow on mountains of horse shit. Well, they do, of course. Imbecile root lover. Why do you hate cabbages? Why? It's people like you who sully root vegetables' name and such like in the daily newspapers, you bastards. Now the time is against root vegetables, much like the time we shoved that beagle that way and that, never realizing that shoving beagles that shoved that way was against time and space, and things that go that way, that weeding and shoving beagles from their root vegetable, <laughs> coma and hell. Beagles are vegetables too. Captain Trevor Horncastle's Horned Castle stuck Roy Castle's castle in sand that lost horny shape when thinking about Juan King's collection <laughs> of used socks from helping cattle tie their shoes, ground their knobby knobs, dragging along the Juan King's kingdom. <laughs> Ivana Humpelot's Trump slot sang a lot to gardeners of the regional famously foxy, thoroughly boxy John Coxy, apples and such root pears as to size and flavour. Flavour, flav, flavour some favour, tasted like wet sea cucumber, gone dry, like a ragged horse's wrinkled, worn-out knob covered in soggy sulk. West Side Story is bloody brilliant to wank over, <laughs> says Jeffrey St. Floppensworth, facing major trauma to his kingdom's well-being and such shit. Knobs justify being nobbly knobs, Juan King. Knobs knobbed knob Kingly, Ben Kingsley's brother, knowing he hated knobs, flavoursome favour greatly. Oh, the irony of being a knob.